So, you got that new iPod Touch for the holidays, right? Christmas, whatever it is, you're excited to use it. Excited to get past your old first generation 80 gig iPod Classic that you haven't used in years because it's so hard to use and so outdated. Well, all that stands between you and your new iPod is getting your music off of it that you've lost because your computer's crashed, you've gotten a new one, whatever it is. Well, here we are. This is where Apple makes your life really hard. They do all kinds of great things, but they also like to make it really hard on you for getting your music off of their devices. This is a tutorial on how to get your music off of an iPod that you can no longer sync, you might not have the music on the computer anymore, whatever it is. So I'm going to be using a software called Detune. Now Detune is for Mac, but there are also very, very, very comparable software services such as SharePod for Windows. And so I'll link both of these in the description, both the websites, and of course they're both free and both spyware and spamware free. So you'll never have to pay and you'll never have any problems with your computer. Now, although they're both different programs, they're both relatively similar to use. And so the commands will work from Windows to Mac or from program to program relatively similarly. Even though Detune isn't SharePod, they're both pretty close, so you can figure it out. But anyway, here you go. This is Detune. And it's a very lightweight software program and it just lets you do exactly what Apple won't, which is get your music off of your iPod and onto your computer where you can sync it with your new one. So I have an old iPod Touch here that I'm going to connect to my computer that I want to get my music off of. So connect it up and there it goes, it's connecting and it takes a minute here Come on. there we go, so you see Dtunes already running and it says iPod Touch. Now iTunes here is probably going to solicit me in a minute and say oh you can't sync this here it is. So the iPod, iPod Touch, is synced with another iTunes library. An iPod can be synced with only one library at a time. What would you like to do? It's like a rock in a hard place. Apple doesn't give you very many choices. Oh, Aperture's popping up here. Go away. Alright, Apple doesn't give you very many choices here. It's like, well, you can erase it and lose all your music, or you can transfer only the stuff you've bought from the iTunes store. Nothing you've gotten from CDs, from friends, maybe from shady places, I don't know where you got it from. But you can't get anything off of it. And so we're just going to hit cancel because we don't want to deal with that. We're going to use Detune or SharePod to do that. So now that iTunes is out of the way, here's what we're going to do. We're in Detune and SharePod looks very similar. And I'm only going to do the top 25 most plays because otherwise it wouldn't fit in a video. It would take a lot longer. But so here's top 25 most played. This isn't my iPod obviously. This is someone else's. But here we are. So it's got all these songs and you want to get them off of your iPod. Well it's very very simple. All you do is make a new folder on your desktop. We'll name it. Come on let me name it. I'm going to name it iPod Music, just so I can remember what it's called. And all you do is you take the songs that you want, and so you can click one, you can click all of your music, or you can click one playlist, and I use Command A, and it selects all of them, and all you have to do is drag them right in. To, and so you drag them into the folder, and there it goes. That's all there is to it. Now if you're using SharePod, it's relatively similar, a little bit different, but the idea is the same. SharePod, you just go into the menu, and I think there's a menu and it says like music, and then you just hit copy to computer. And SharePod will ask you where you would like to copy it to, and you just do the same thing to a folder on the desktop. So that's relatively similar. And if you'd like, I can do a SharePod tutorial as well. Just tell me in the comments or whatever you want. So there it is. I got the top 25 most played, or in your case, whoever's case, all the music off the iPod for all intensive purposes. And then all you have to do is you take your iPod music and you just drag it straight onto iTunes. And actually, I'm going to close Detune now because 
we're pretty much done with it. All you have to do is open iTunes, and I have mine arranged from top to bottom, and you just drag the music right in. And that's it. It imports it in, and from here, we can sync these to a new computer, new iPod, whatever you'd like to do with it. You don't have to lose the music that was on your iPod. You can put it on your new one that you got for Christmas, your new iPod Touch, your new Nano, whatever, and no problems. Everyone's happy. So that's it. They're really simple to use. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer them. That's really about it. Pretty simple and a lot easier than having to mess around for hours trying to find a way to get them off your iPod because I know it's frustrating. I've been there a million times when you have a new one or when your computer crashes or whatever. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments if there's something that you're having trouble with, if you'd like me to do a different tutorial, something like that. All right, catch you later.